What's going on guys? Wolfco Tools here. Um, I'm going to be doing a little tour through a unit. It's a, uh, a mix. You got your your cooling coil up there, your refrigerant, but you've also got your heat coil up there, which is an aquatherm system. If you guys have a lot of that on your property, but aquatherm system is basically pulling your hot water from your water heater, which is going to be in that closet through that wall there, going up through the ceiling and in here into an impeller. Um, that's a Taco cartridge. And uh, it's then going to be basically using the impeller to pressurize the coil with hot water. And that's going to be getting pushed through by uh, some squirrel cage motors. Little fans, rotary fans up there. And uh, pushing out through the ceiling into your ducts. Back through. And all the way down to your intake. There's a couple in this unit. It's a two bedroom, two bath. And in this floor plan, the intake is right here which happens to be by the front door. So, we're going to be taking a look at this one um, and get you an idea of what parts are up there. Alright guys, let me know what you think. Alright guys, so starting off, the majority of these panels are held in by clips. you got screws located in all of these. Those hold on to the clips that retain along the retention uh, order of this. Uh, this one unfortunately has got a broken clip. You have two slip clips here. It slide into place. You push them up and you slide them over. And they basically hang there. It's kind of like a like a C bracket, and uh, when that's hanging there, it helps pivot. So as long as that's not broken, you can open this, drop it, service it, put in a new filter. Because like I said, this is the intake. But we're gonna take a look here. We're gonna drop this pail, and I'm gonna give you a little tour. So I'm gonna start here where the hooks drop down normally. Those are Phillips screws. Those are loose. Again, not in the clips, just some self-tapping screws. Okay, we're gonna drop that panel. Um, I'm gonna scoop back just a hair, just so I have some better leverage on the center. So you're pulling these down, you always wanna put some support there because these are held in, so you don't have to hold them in place. One there. This one's held not by a clip. There's a little self-tapper screw. Going for the center. Okay, so now that those are all unsecured, we're going to drop the panel down. So, air filter is in really good shape. We're going to save that. So, sorry about that, guys. So, what we got here is our heat system. So, we got the two copper lines coming in right here. You return in your outlet, and those are getting supplied up to a heat pump, which has an impeller right there. And those get pressurized. Not hard to see it, but there's some heat coils running through this panel here, circulating back over there. And this fan here, the motor, dual fans, single motor, is pushing all that airflow through the duct past the intake and all the heat coils. You got your fan center here, it's been pulled apart and replaced looks like. Um, but yeah, that's your fan center, your supply coming in from your breaker panel. That splits off, your wiring is gonna lead up to the fan center over here and it's going to lead over to the heat coil basically letting it know when to kick the impeller on, the pump on, and circulate hot water through when the heat's on. So pretty simple design, pretty cool. Take a look back up in here. You basically have all your ducting. Pretty basic system guys. Really cool. And the awesome stuff about up here, so with this heat pump, take a look, you got a little spigot valve there, huh? Above well, there is a hose bib. And what you do when you service the hot water heater, sometimes you get air in your system and it gets caught, leads back into your pump. That guy gets clogged, won't rotate, can't catch prime, and now you're not pressurized up here in your heat coil. So what you do is you attach a hose, you bleed out your air. You basically take that cap off, you open up the valve with the, uh, you know, the garden hose attached to it. 
leave that into a bucket or a, um, a drain. Thankfully, you got the bathroom right through that door. And um, yeah, you pretty much just get out all the air. It reprimes, basically like any other pump. You keep the pressurized, keep the air out. Really good system, aquatherms. As long as you got a good water heater, you're good to go. We're uh, output temperature right now on this unit happen to be around 95, 98. So really good for, for an aquatherm system. Let me know what you guys have at your property and what you guys got to deal with on the daily. We got a lot of corrosive water here, so we're changing out impellers, changing out heat coils pretty often. But for the most part, you know, these are really efficient systems. Less gas. Basically, your gas is only supplying your hot water heater, not as much to your gas uh, furnace. So, circulatory hot water, it stays in the system, recirculates, and keeps the, uh, keeps the little two-bedroom pretty hot. So, we're going to put the panel back up. Just gonna set up my camera here and uh, we'll get it up. You got your filter right there. Pretty basic. You're doing an air filter change. You just pull that out. Got some clips here. Post it back in. You're good to go. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to have my kiddos help me in this one. Um, Coraline, you want to come here? Yeah. Can you hold these screws for me? Yeah. Thanks, Alfred. Makes it a lot easier when you got help, huh? So, we're going to start over here. Center it up. I'm going to go for the middle screw. Easiest way to put these panels up. You got center in. I'm going to go out one. Good to go. We're going to go out for that one. So now this is secure in the front. I'm going to secure the edge over here. Secure the edge over here. Kind of want to go even on them, kind of like you're changing out a tire. That one's good. That one's good. Sometimes they're stubborn with the clips, but you know, you get it figured out. Like I said, they're stubborn. Okay. Circumstances like that, you get a screw that doesn't catch, start somewhere else. Remember we had these two? So we're gonna go for those two. Carlin, can I get those screws? Yes. Thanks, my helper. That's my daughter, Coraline. She's the best helper. You gotta start them young. One screw there. And one screw right there. Sent it crooked a little bit. That's okay. We got our self tapper. Gonna go in for that last one. And we're good to go, guys. So let me know what you think. I'm glad to do a little tour of the units. Um, this property I work at. I think we got some help from the kiddos here. So, all right, guys, you take it easy. Wolf Co. Tools out.